Um, I think he holds himself to a very high standard, uh, works extremely hard, uh, plays with tremendous effort, and is very productive. Uh, makes a lot of plays that uh, other guys on our team won't make athletically. He's very gifted. Um, so uh, from that standpoint alone, I mean, he stands out amongst the 11 guys on defense. I think one of the things is not everybody wants to run right at Jason which gives other guys around him a chance to make the play. So, you know, that's, that's how the team benefits from Jason. Uh, the system is basically built around Jason and what he can do. Uh, we line him up in a variety of different areas, in a very different ways, and require him to do some things um, from different positions. Um, he'll line up inside the box, out in open space, on number two, extended receivers, and he has the ability to run, so we utilize his strengths uh, with our defensive package. Um, I would probably say the teammates around him. Um, everyone just does their job, and usually what ends up happening is, is Jason can usually track something down from behind. And I'd venture to say most teams run away from him, and one of them's great strengths is the ability to chase the ball from behind and make a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage. The other aspect of his game is, even though it doesn't lead in total tackles, you know he'll lead in tackles for loss, passes broken up, sacks, forced fumbles. Um, I would say he, he's not your, your typical linebacker in the sense that he's gonna make every tackle. I mean, he can make a majority of the big plays also. He can squeeze through the tiniest of holes uh, amongst offensive linemen and do some things that you wouldn't think could be done schematically. Um, he, he has a unique ability uh, to do things I tell him not to do, or they or can't be done. So you know he can uh, he can create some some big plays for us on defense. He can create some problems for uh, teams on offense. You know after he graduates, we'll probably miss the big play production uh, that he generates. Uh, but overall, I think the system is it utilizes the strengths of a lot of guys. Um, he just performs at a much higher level sometimes than the guys around him. Uh, but I, I think uh, over time. You know, the system will stay, guys will take his spot, but the biggest thing we'll lose is the uh, big play production level from him. As far as playing here at Western, uh, it's been a, a pretty good experience so far, you know. I'm really fortunate to be here actually because, you know, coming out of high school, I wasn't that highly recruited, so I was pretty lucky that um, <coughs> Coach Peter decided to give me a chance. And playing his defense is, um, how can I put it? Playing his defense, like it's been a real experience because like, I've never really played played the defense like this before. Plus, like when I was in high school, I, I uh, primarily played offense anyway. So just playing defense in general was a big change for me. But playing in this defense, pretty much like it makes you it, it makes you a better athlete playing this defense because there's so much different, so many different things going on that you have to be alert of everything. I mean, I feel like I feel perfectly just for this for this kind of defense. Like our entire defense is based on speed, and that's one of the things that um, I rely on most when it comes to playing football. Coach Casey's whole concept is like having the best level players on the field. So, like, us having like our best players on defense out there at the same time, like we all just play off each other and benefit from what everybody else does. As far as other categories, I mean. The whole like the whole basis of our defense is like just to put everybody in a position where they can do what they do best, and like that's how, that's where Coach Casey has me. Like he has me in a position where I'm like I'm rushing constantly, so like that allows me to make uh, more plays in the backfield with one speed. Then like as far as the tackles go, I mean like there's a ton of great players on our defense, so when it comes to tackles, I mean like everybody's able to make plays. So like I really wouldn't expect, like it's like, it's been that way since Coach Casey's been here. Like there's never been one guy that like just shot out in front of everybody in tackles. So, I mean, it's, it's usually always like a pretty close race when it comes to tackles because everybody's always in position to do something.